approaching. Jesus soon will come. 205. The golden morning is fast approaching. Jesus soon will come to take his faithful and happy children to the promised home. 205. 205.
face of Troy. With its crystal tides forever, flowing by the throne of God, 432. Shall we gather at the river?
Dirty water run in drain, but blood run through veins. His blood and my blood came from the same branch. Well, it was a little while that Sibo decided to be quiet. He used to be going to town, and he stopped for about a week. And in my heart, I was feeling very happy. I said, yes, let him stay away from the street, not knowing that he wasn't well. It's until I realized that he was not eating properly. When I went down to his house, I said to him, but well, why are you not eating? And he made a kind of sarcastic remark to me, you know. He was eating only the fish, the chicken, and even the rest of the food that he ordered to eat. But it was later on that I realized that he had, he had an unwell food. And despite all, he was loving and kind, he was respectful. Every time I gave him his meals, he never failed to say thank you. And he gave me a name. He didn't used to call me Bona or Veronica. But whenever I say Veronica, I know he vex and I know something was annoying him. When he goes to town and comes back, he would say he would shout me out coming in under the tavern tree. Amy! Amy! And I would say to him, one day you go. And whenever he takes it, he would say thank you. Um, I say all this to say that he would be very missed. He was happy with the kind of life he was living. Why I wish that he had changed his lifestyle, but he was comfortable. But I tried my best, and God did the rest. Farewell, my brother. The eulogy this evening is a bit strange. I have some questions. Why do people read eulogy? Have you ever heard of a bad eulogy? No. Well, I think that people read eulogy to create much talk, to remember the disease, to trace the lifestyle. Innocent George Lewis was the fourth child of Matilda and Hilarious Lewis, now deceased, of Church Street in Cariboo. He was born on the 7th of December. He attended the Hillsborough Government School, where he left in Standard 2. From the time I know him innocent, he was a tongue He had three favorite spots in town, by MacMill's Pharmacy, by Matheson's Sex, and by Kim Mills. He loved the town. He used to leave his breakfast and go to town as if he had a job and came back home late in the night calling me, Amy, Amy. He loved the town. He also loved his Coke, Coca-Cola drinks. He used to say to people, please buy me a Coke, whether he knew you or not. He was very respectful and courteous. When I gave him his meals, he always said, thank you. He was comfortable with the way he was living. On many occasions, I tried to get him to live a better life, but he was happy with the way he was living. When I said to him, you know, you will take a bath today? He would say, no, no, I ready, I ready. I said, well, you know, you will change your clothes today? No, 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 I go so, I go so. What can I do? I just had to contend that way. He was very industrious with his hands. He made coconut straw boats and sold them to white people on the streets. 
He made friends with Coconut Shaw, that is the Fencer Garden. He also sold pants for his young friends. He loved the sea, always by the wayside as a little boy. Later he became a sailor. He sailed to St. Vincent, Barbados, Trinidad, and Dominica. He was also a good diver and swimmer. If it had not been for him, my son Ali would not have been here now when he fell from the jetty into the rolling sea. It was Simo who dived him up. All he made, my brother fell sick with his foot. We took him to the hospital. He was sent to Grenada General Hospital where his leg was amputated. And that's the end of him now. Farewell, my brother. Rest in peace.
And I think a lot of people believe that after death, the soul goes wandering. That's not Bible. But that's what Seneca taught. And the Hindu may see in it the endless possibility of reincarnation that is people coming back. And they see in that a comfort to the grieving. But to the Bible believing Christians, Grief must be placed within the perspective of the blessed hope. And that blessed hope is that Jesus will come again and take his people to a land where there will be no more sickness, no more pain, no more death. But you ask, why God must allow that? Could he have prevented it? You know, when God made man, he gave him conditional immortality and placed him in an environment that was conducive to death and longevity. But Adam sinned. He forfeited Yes, God made Adam. Every day there is a shooting. 
and two mass shootings on the average per day. And by mass shooting, we mean that at least four people are killed. There are about 300 mass shootings in the States, and we are only just halfway there. Yes, Paul says that in the last days, in Timothy, perilous times shall come. The conditions prophesied by Paul about 2,000 years ago are being fulfilled today. So we are all aware that the end is near. If we were not aware, it would be a different matter. Because Acts 17, 30 says, in times of ignorance, God wins. And I'm glad for this, because there are those who will do things in ignorance. But if you are not in that category, then God is expecting that people will come. You know, and when he, when he deals with wrongdoing, he will be very just and righteous. And a day is already fixed in time when he will judge the world by the man of his own choosing. And proof of this is that he has already raised that man from the dead. And that is Jesus Christ. And he who testified these things, he who testified these things is one that you can rely on altogether. And he and behold, he says, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according as his works shall be. And what reward shall we expect? The answer is everlasting damnation for some on the one hand. And the everlasting life for some on the other hand. Those who will receive everlasting life will be in a place where there be no harm, there will be no sorrow, no crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. There God will wipe away all tears from their eyes. This is God's provision for those who died in Christ. And God is, is, is hurting, you know, whenever human beings suffer. We talk about Sibo. In fact, I, I didn't know that he was George Innocent. But I, I was talking about him with my wife, and I said, you know, I never saw Sibo angry. Maybe, yes, but I never saw him. I never heard him using obscene language. I don't think he, I don't think he stole. And he, he wasn't committing adultery. And I believe that he might have done some things in ignorance. And I can only hope that God will wait at the wrong he's done. But you know, I'm not I'm not wanting to, to talk too much about Sigur. I want him to reach you. He has fun. He will not leave this side again. But you have a chance. You are alive, and I pray that if you haven't put everything right, you will do it before it is too late. You know, it is the devil that is keeping people back. And he always does things contrary to what Christ has done or is doing. When Christ says, no, today, Satan says, not now, tomorrow. If Christ says, the last, that might be the last day of the week. Satan says, no, it's the first. When Christ says, life, Satan says, no, death. And so, Satan is the one that is causing all the trouble in the world. And he started a controversy in heaven many, many years ago, even before the creation of this world. And that controversy continues here on earth. So, we should be on our guard and know that the devil will do everything 
to fought God's plan and to prevent you from getting the blessings that God has in store. And I said that Christ is coming. I believe he's coming with all my heart. I can see the things that show is coming near, a fast fulfilling year by year, even day by day. So I know that he's coming. But I don't know the day. I don't know the hour when the Son of Man comes. But we know that just before he comes, probation will close. What is probation? We are all living on probation. And at this time, I can I can go and be bad, very bad. But I can, God wants me, if I was bad, God would want me to change. So there is a time for it. When probation closes, then there is no change. Because when probation closes, the edict will go forth from God. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is unholy, let him be unholy still. At the same time, Christ will pronounce, He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. I pray God that when that time comes, all of you here will be in the category of the holy. So that even if Satan were to use all the fallen angels, all the wicked angels, because there are a lot of them around, he was cast out of heaven with one third. And I can tell you the number. But if we have a guiding angel to every person on earth, and there are eight um, billion people, then there must be over eight billion angels. And if Satan has a third of them, then Satan should have four billion angels. As, no, don't quote me as saying that, but I'm saying at least. So Satan is doing a wonderful work because he doesn't want us to inherit eternal life. And so I urge you to do all you can so that when Christ comes, you will be ready. When Jesus comes, you will begin his ascent with the calling angel because we are told that he's coming with all the angels in heaven. This is why Revelation 8 1 says that there will be silence in heaven about the space of us now. And I know in prophetic reckoning that half an hour is equal to seven and a half to eight days. That's what I am I talking about. Ezekiel 4 6, number 2 to 34 says that when you are dealing with prophecies and time, a day stands for a year. So half an hour, by that reckoning, simple proportion would be seven and a half to eight days. Christ is coming with all his angels and he will begin his ascent to the heavenly city. I don't know. Some of us might enjoy flying, some don't want to. But just think of a, a journey of a few billion miles that will be done in the space, in the time, in the space of one week. And it's a non-stop flight. I want to be there. I never aspire to be a spaceman. But the redeemed must know that in order to get to heaven, you have to go through space. I want to be there. You want to be there, I believe so. But in order to be there, you must prepare. How do I prepare? I can give you some advice, but I'd rather let Solomon speak. Solomon says in Ecclesiastes 12, 13, Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. You don't have to have wealth or education in all the way you have it as well. The basic requirement, God loves you and He wants you to love Him back. And he says, if you love me, do what I tell you. And Solomon affirms this. Fear God and keep his commandments. 
This is the whole Muslim land. Now I've spoken not to Sibo, but to you. And I pray that the words that I speak here this afternoon may not fall in their place. That those of us who have been going right will go continue right. And if you're not so sure, make some adjustments. For it is appointed unto every man once a die. And after that, there is the judgment. God bless you. Everybody wants to view um,
Well, folks, we thank you for viewing this funeral service for Sibo. I call him partners. He always meets me. You see, partners, I'll get a cook today. You see, partners, no cook for you. you see, partners, I drink it while you go do. I won't drink it while you go do. Rest in peace to your partners. Sibo. Thank you for viewing. We might go back live in the cemetery, folks. This is where we end our live. Thank you for viewing and look forward to other live. We'll be live tomorrow for another funeral and on Monday, please. Lord. So, folks, thank you, thank you, thank you. Rest in peace, Sibo, and to Teacher Fauna and the rest of the family. We say our deepest best condolences and thank you thank you folks we'll be back soon
Believe in me, though he was dead, yet shall he live. Fear not. I am the first and the last, and he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works to follow them. I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that he saw not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, for the voice of the archangel and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, and with the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another. You may enjoy the castle. For as much as God in His goodness and the working of His providences, He permitted this over here 
friend, a brother, to lay down the burdens of this life. We do lovingly commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, remembering as we do that all the issues of life are in God's hands, God the everlasting Father of love and compassion, and that he has promised eternal life to those who love him. You may come. The bull and one in the fast approaching. The and one in the fast approaching. Jesus soon will come. Who did this and happy children to their promised home? Who is this? Trumpet of the Lord shall song and time shall be no more And the morning breaks in front of right and clear When the schools of what shall gather to the home on the shore And the road is full of thunder and Beyond the sky, and the road is full of yonder. When the road, when the road. Yeah. 
Softly and tenderly, I guess some of us know that song. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. Calling for you and for me. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. Just calling for you and for me. See on the portal, he's waiting and watching. He's watching for you and for me. Come home, you are weary, come home. Honestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling. Just calling for him and come home. And why should we tarry when Jesus is pleading? He's pleading for you and for me. Why should we linger and need not his mercy? His mercy for you and for me. Come home, come home. You are weary, come home. All that he tenderly, Jesus is calling. He's calling to see and come home. Think of the wonderful love he has promised, promised for you and for me. Thank you. 
presence of our brothers and sisters who are here. We have committed the remains of the Sibo, charged and sent to the West, the final resting place. Lord, we believe that you and you will hear from him and you will the best outcome. So, we pray that you will comfort those who are known. Help them to look beyond the pain and the darkness of today to a bright tomorrow. And as we live here, I pray, oh God, that the angel will escort us, that everything will go well with us. And I pray that one day soon you will come to take your people home, so that all of us can go and stay with you. And we ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, wall. I'll stay no longer with you. Goodbye, wall. I'll stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasure. I'll stay. I'll stay no longer with you. I've made up my mind to go.
Folks, this is where we say bye for now, and sympathies go to the phone and the family. We say thank you and keep viewing. Another funeral to do tomorrow, please look, look out for Expo Car. We'll be coming live today. I'm not on the live though. I'm behind the camera. I'm not behind the camera. I'm in front of the camera today. Look out for live viewing for another funeral tomorrow, please the Lord, and Monday. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you.